All right, back to it. Uh, because there was no, simply no other way to move the body. Huh. <laughs> Why are you talking? <laughs> what are you doing? He's chugging. He's chugging. <laughs> My Mr. Gatto. He's still going. Oh, 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 oh. It seems that Mr. Gatto is more focused on his coffee than answering my question. How is there that much coffee in that mug? It seems that the odds of a rope being readily available were very high. So I suppose that it's not an impossibility after all. Objection. Possible or impossible? That's not the question we need to ask. There's only one question. Did that really happen? Trite. I wonder if you can prove what happened to us. Do you have any uh, any actual evidence that the body was swung over like a pendulum? <laughs> um, this, right? Uh, would that prove that her body was swung? Um... Maybe this, because it shows where the orb was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's try it. Did you save? Save. <laughs> I, I can't save. They don't let me. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I, I think either the orb or uh, the map should work. Okay. Um... Here's the proof. Oh god. Uh... Let's try that again. Yeah da 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 dee. Yeah da 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 da. Okay, where do we start from? Ugh. All right, I'll see you in six years. <laughs> Save, like, when he's chugging. Getting there. Are we? <laughs> huh. Blood, blood, blood. Okay, save. <laughs> as soon as it lets me. Yo, how much coffee is in that mug? 
<laughs> I won't do a chug now, but soon, okay? Before I present my evidence, let me review what we know so far. According to this photo, one of the wires snapped. Looking at the map, we can see it's the one that was in front of the inner temple. So then, uh, that was the spot where the criminal... Yes, precisely. Now let us consider the body's movement by looking at the overhead map again. If the body was pushed from this point here, it would drop on the opposite bank at approximately this point. D did you say drop? Well, they must have failed to catch the body on the other bank. What? What makes you think something like that happened? Because I have evidence that suggests her body dropped some distance. What kind of evidence? Take a look at this autopsy report. This explains the autopsy report. Mm-hmm. It says here that her body fell about 10 feet after her death. 10 feet, huh? That's most likely the height difference between the two sides. The body overswung due to forward momentum, but then came loose and fell about 10 feet. And then, as a result of the landing impact, this crystal sphere was knocked loose. That's... Yes, this blood-stained amethyst crystal. It's the one that came off of Miss Delise Dunim's staff. And even more important, is the place where this crystal sphere was found. Indeed, I believe it's already marked on this overhead map. The crystal was found. Oh. Precisely, Your Honor. In the very spot where the pendulum would arrive if given the right amount of speed. This explains your theory quite well, Mr. Wright. You have provided us with a way the body could have been moved that night. An impressive deduction, Mr. Wright. Most impressive. <laughs> Mr. Wright! I thought this cold coffee might help you cool down. What is the meaning of this, Mr. Gatto? That was a dark and bitter guess that you made, Trite. But you forgot about one thing. Oh, and what would that be? The aroma. Huh? The coffee's most reliable accomplice is its deep and profound aroma. Uh, the rest of the court doesn't speak coffee knees. Can you elaborate a bit more? If the criminal had sent the body to the other side like you say, then naturally there must have been an accomplice lying in wait to catch it. An accomplice? The criminal wasn't able to cross Dusky Bridge, so who collected the body? What do you have to say about that, Trite? Mr. Gatto is correct. This can't be the work of a single person. Well, Mr. Wright, you know what you must do. Yes, Your Honor. The body couldn't have made it to Hazakura Temple without an accomplice. Very well, then. If you please, Mr. Wright. Who was the person that received the body on the Hasakura temple side? Bam! 
can only be you, Sister Iris. Huh? huh. But I... I... I don't see why you're so surprised. The only way to transport the body from Dusky Bridge is by snowmobile. But with her bad back, Sister Bikini could never pick up a body like that. You're the only one that could have managed it. Objection. Right. Were you even listening to the witness's testimony? On the night of the crime, this little cutie pup was on cleanup duty in the Inner Temple Garden after the mother-daughter bloodbath. Objection. I haven't forgotten, but have you, Mr. Gatto? This witness was also seen at Hunter's Temple. Desecrating the corpse of the victim. Hmm. Strange indeed. It's almost as if... On that night, the defendant was in two different places at the same time. Two different places, you say? Mm -hmm. What could have caused that to happen? Mm -hmm. Sister Iris, let me ask you something. Why didn't you mention it when you first gave your testimony? M mention what? The pendulum, of course. Using the sketch drawn by an eyewitness. I've established how the body was moved using the burnt-out bridge. Which means it's now a fact that this occurred. Something you should have already known. No. I, I had no idea. I didn't know anything about a pendulum. But the body couldn't have been passed along due to the passed along to the other side without your help. So you should have known about it. In fact, it'd be impossible for you to be clueless about this whole thing. Unless you're not really Iris to begin with. Whoa. Whoa. What? How can you say that, Mr. Wright? What? What kind of nonsense is this? You you're saying that this witness. Isn't Iris of Hazakura Temple? Are you serious, Trite? You... you mean... This woman is... Holy fuck! I have, like, a suspicion, but then I was like, but... but... <laughs> like... But why? <laughs> I guess aside from the fact that maybe Iris didn't want to, like, point the finger at Maya, mm -hmm. you know? I don't know. There's no one besides Iris that could have received the corpse that night. Now I get it. Now I know why I've been sick to my stomach this whole trial. Why her whole demeanor changed so suddenly from yesterday. And why she's trying to pin this murder on Maya. The woman that's standing there at the witness stand. Her real name is... Oh my god, here we go. I never thought I'd have to utter your name again. Let alone see you. It's been a long time, Dolly a Hawthorne. Hawthorne? Sister Iris had a twin sister. And you're looking at her, Miss Dolly a Hawthorne. That name rings some bells. Distant bells, but bells nonetheless. <sighs> it's just your imagination, Gramps. This file contains all the relevant data about Dahlia Hawthorne. Oh yes, I remember now. That case, five years ago. My name is Dahlia Hawthorne. I just want to say... It's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. The honor is all mine! <laughs> no, the honor is all mine! Hmm. But, but, but according to this, Dahlia Hawthorne is already dead. It says her execution was carried out last month. So what? Death has no meaning in this court. <laughs> what? The fuck is he talking about? Death has no meaning. 
Order, order, order. Yeah, if you've if you've uh, if you've guessed the twist by now. Wait a moment. How can you? My sister. She's already dead. What, what kind of? You of all people should already understand. After all, the blood of the master of the Kurai channeling technique flows within that body. The Kurai channeling technique? And now where have I heard that? Please, Mr. Judge, you've had so many encounters. That's right. You're not Dahlia Hawthorne herself. You're the spirit of Dahlia, currently inhabiting the body of a spirit medium. What's happening in this court case? <laughs> what an exciting story. Exciting, but quite impossible. You're asking us to buy that Dahlia Hawthorne just happened to be channeled by someone. On the very night of the murder, to a temple where her twin sister Iris was. Well, if you're going to put things that way, then yes. Objection. We're supposed to believe a coincidence like that just happens? Ain't no coincidence. <laughs> Naturally, it was no coincidence. The whole thing was part of a plan from the very beginning. It's all written here in these instructions. What's that? These instructions were written, were written by your mother, Morgan Fay. And part of the plan for Dahlia Hawthorne to be channeled. That night... There were two irises at Hasakura Temple. Two of them? Even the time of the channeling was planned out. As soon as you hear the lights out bell, in other words, 10 p.m. However, iris was seen before dinner time. That means the iris that was at dinner is, was the real iris. And the iris who gave me this hood in the main hall was also the real iris. Meaning that the Iris sister bikini saw at the inner temple was someone else just dressed as her, namely one Dahlia Hawthorne. Do you even know what you're saying, Trite? This whole channeling the spirit of Dahlia Hawthorne business. Yes, it's true that you found plans that talk about it. However, there's one thing that's perfectly clear. The witness currently standing in the witness stand is the real Iris. What? Wait, how does he know that? <laughs> Calm down and remember what you know about the night of the crime. After meeting Sister Bikini, the Dahlia Hawthorne that had been channeled, he's just accepting it as fact, <laughs> would have been stranded at the inner temple due to the lightning strike. It was later that the body was moved by Pendulum. That's right. Naturally, that would mean that the iris that received the body was... the real iris. Are you with me so far? Yes. After being notified of what happened, the police came to Hasakura Temple's main hall. There, they found Iris in her room and arrested her. And ever since, she's been under police supervision at the detention center. Yes, I suppose. Can't deny any of that. Thank goodness. It looks like he's finally convinced. But something still seems off. Way off. I'm still not convinced that the iris here is the same one from the other night. Huh. I suppose you're about to say something really ridiculous. <laughs> Like, the real Iris and the spirit of Dolly somehow switched places? Switched places? It's getting crazier by the second. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, there are still quite a few things I don't understand, but I do know that unless we confirm the witness's identity, we can't continue with this trial. Iris doesn't have the spiritual power needed to channel Dahlia. 
which means they must have switched places somewhere. Well, Mr. Wright? Since the time she was arrested at Hazakura Temple, have there been any chances for Iris to switch places with Dahlia Hawthorne? Your Honor, I think there might have been one chance. Oh? Explain yourself. Yesterday, for a few minutes, Iris's whereabouts were unknown. Unknown? What do you mean? What I mean is... There was a span of time in which Iris was able to move about freely, unsupervised. Well, who was it? Who would give a murder suspect time to move about freely like that? I'm sorry. I know you didn't mean to. It wasn't your fault. The person who gave Iris the chance to freely move about was... Oh no, partner! <laughs> Miles no! Edgeworth. Th this is Mr. Edgeworth, isn't it? Your Honor. There was a fairly large earthquake yesterday, was there not? An earthquake? Hmm. An earthquake! Oh my goodness! The inner temple! This kind of tremor might... How could I have... She fled. She escaped. We went to the inner temple right away. And it's true. Iris was already there. However, we had already switched places by that point in time. Yeah, look at all these locks. Now mm -hmm. the locks make sense. When I arrived at the training hall, I was met by none other than Dahlia Hawthorne. <laughs> what was happening? Th that's quite enough already, Mr. Wright. Now see here! No judge in his right mind would consider the idea of spirit channeling and- Be quiet. Oh! Oh! It's been a long time, Mr. Judge. That, that, that voice! Guess I'll have to ask again. Upon meeting a beautiful lady, always ask for her name and profession. That's one of my rules. Dahlia Hawthorne, and my current profession, permanently retired. <laughs> so you're not going to bother hiding your identity anymore, huh? Why should I? After all, I'm dead. There's really nothing you can do to punish me. What is going on here? It was absolutely Dahlia when uh, things got completely destroyed. <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne. I never thought we'd meet again. And I never thought we'd meet like this. But this time I'll end it. For her and for myself. To be continued. Woo! We made it through somehow. Wow. God, I hope they give us more hit points when we uh <laughs> when we start the no. <laughs> I hope they no. give us more hit points We're when we start the next one. For the rest of this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Okay. Well, um that is a great place to end for now. Sure. Um we'll pick up next week. We might actually even be done next week. Oh my gosh. That'd Isn't that crazy. exciting? Wow. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, next yeah. time will be normal time, hopefully. Um, <laughs> issues notwithstanding. You link the video in Discord? Okay. All right. All right. I'll check it out. Okay. Bye-bye.